the quarterback for Kentucky, Devin Leary, and those receivers. How do you, how have they improved throughout the season, or have they improved in your eyes? Oh yeah, I think they're. Well, I mean, I think they're really good players. I think they played well all year long. Um, they've got a you know very diverse group. You know, Barry and Brown's obviously, you know, re- really good players. Very fast guys. A good returner as well. And you know, Devin Leary is you know tough, competitive. Uh, good passer, does a great job of managing and doing what he needs to do to make their offense work, run and pass. And uh, the guy's a really smart player and has done a great job of executing everything I've seen all year long. And the other question was about their defense. Uh, what's different about a, a um, speech defense from the University of Kentucky? Well, they play a 3-4 all the time. They play regular people, you know, a lot. Um, and uh, they Big zone team, very physical, uh, do a great job of executing their scheme. They're really well coached and, um, you know, uh, a little different than, you know, some people play in this day and age, but they're really, really effective at what they do. Our team getting a victory this past week on the road at Mississippi State, a place we hadn't played very good. Game we really needed. We had uh, coming off some three losses in a row, so really needed that win. And, um, Felt like we've been playing better in certain areas the past couple of weeks and uh, feel the same now. Um, it's been a solid week of practice so far. Um, obviously, a, a tremendous challenge uh, with having Alabama come in here and uh, a team that is, uh, you know, what I look at is a, a typical Alabama team, just uh, extremely physical, uh, great depth, playmakers at every level on both sides and a uh, very, very physical football team. So we uh, you know, have to make sure we have great practices this week, have really physical practices, and, and, uh, and, and uh, you know, have to play at a very high level. So great challenge. Uh, a lot of respect for Coach Saban and what he's done for a long time. And, uh, and our team will be uh, up for the challenge and uh, looking forward to it. Questions, press one zero, and we'll begin with Nick Alvarez of AL.com. Hi, Coach. I, mean, I was just wondering, when you prepare for Alabama, just the challenge of getting ready for Dallas Turner, and if you know he makes any difference than you know, any other defensive line you'll face during the season? Uh, yeah, he's definitely a guy that could wreck a game uh, very quickly. And so, um, you know, these are guys that you have to account for. We've got to be very smart, you know, with our protections. And quarterbacks got to be smart with holding on to the football and making sure we're not holding on to it too too long. Uh, he's a guy that could uh, change it in a hurry. So, uh, yeah, I think you've got to be very conscientious of where he's at and, and uh, try to have a great plan for him. Thank you. Yep. Next is Steve Molto, WZZ. Hey, Coach. Hope you're doing well today. So good. Thank you. Uh, on on the Alabama defense in particular, that secondary, I was wondering if I could get your thoughts on uh, how high a level do you think the Alabama secondary is playing this year, Coach? Yeah, I think, you know, really special. You know, you you, uh, you know expect that. You know, it's seems like it's year in and year out with Bama always having high picks and you know, even with the addition of uh, Downs, the freshman, you know, just adds another level. I think their nickel is 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 a fantastic player as well, and more. Uh, you know, the corners can always cover. So, just a really tremendous group. And, and I'm in Huntsville, Alabama, coach. So I, I wanted to ask about the the growth of Saunders, number 92, along your D line, coach. How's that going for him? Yeah, he's he's coming along. He's uh, you know he's getting better, and you know he's. He's he's a guy that 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 has some ability that that has some quick quick twitch and you know some length and so um, we need him to to Khalil to continue to improve and in uh, you know I, I, he's getting better. Thank you, Coach. Yep. Thank you. Next is AP Stedham of the AP and Kelly Show. Hey, Coach. How you doing, Coach? Good, Coach. Good. Thank you. Coach, what's been the difference in your passing game the last couple of weeks? I think it's a combination of things. I think it always starts, you know, with protection. 
Um, you know, we've been protecting better. Um, you know, the, the receivers and the quarterback, the quarterbacks, they've been working hard and, and uh, you know, it's starting to see the results. I mean, just trying to just be more detailed, making sure we're on the same page and, and just executing at a higher level. I think, you know, part of it is, you know, the, you know, we got some couple young wideouts that are really working hard to mature and, and to get better. And you're starting to see that growth on the field. Thank you, coach. Thank you. If there are any other questions for coach, please pl press uh, one zero. I think we have a follow up from Steve. I do coach. Uh, I, I did want to ask about uh, it. It feels odd to ask this in November, but roster management, it feels like that's right around the corner. How much of uh, that is ongoing right now since December's right around the corner, Coach? Yeah, you're, you're right about that. I mean, we <clears throat> internally uh, work on it and talk about it and look at it all year. You know, there's some things that are out of your hands, um, but uh, you try to have the, the best fix on it you can. Uh, you're, you're correct. It's it's on our radar. It's something we look at, something we think about internally. Uh, we don't have any of those discussions with the players until it gets to be, uh, you know, after the last game of the year. Um, you know, at least the, the the schedule they they have in place for us now allows us coaches to be on campus following our last game. That's a change, uh, I think, just the last year, if I'm not mistaken, last year was the first year. But that's a good thing to let us sit here in house and have meetings with our players and our coaches and, and uh, get a fix on our own roster before we start hitting the road and closing on guys for the December signing period. And finally, coach, I know you spoke about coach Saban in your press conference earlier in the week, but I, I and you spoke about your brother being on his staff, but yeah. of just trying to pull things from the program, what impresses you most about this longevity that coach Saban has had of success? I mean, you know, you, you could, we could talk about it for at length. Uh, you know, it's truly amazing what he's done and, and you have to give a lot of credit to him. I'm sure he'd be the first one to tell you that there's a lot of people that have sacrificed for a long time uh, to help in that support, but uh, he is, um, you know, truly uh, the best and uh, has done it for, for, for at a high level for a long time. So um just pretty remarkable what he's done and, and uh, you know, myself coming up through the ranks and watching him and it's always been good to my family. And uh, I, 